to it spirit what messages do you have for a capricorn for mid-january to the end of january spirit what messages do you have for capricorn for mid-january to the end of january do you have for Capricorn from mid-January to the end of January? Capricorn, we have the Queen of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is somebody that is stern, truthful. They do what's right. Um, they tell it like it is. They mean what they say, say what they mean. They don't care if they hurt your feelings. They just tell me the truth. I heard tough love. This is somebody that gives tough love. Ooh, excuse me, Capricorn, you could be giving somebody tough love or you could be, you know, I heard truthful honesty. This is the four of wands. I have Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. You could be speaking up about like maybe your your maybe hold on. Somebody, I mean Capricorn, this could be you or someone in regards to you. Somebody could be giving you maybe advice or being honest about this could be your situation, like within your household. Within some type of like family or something. Maybe you asking advice about like a, a family dynamic or I heard, what should you do? You could be getting advice on what should you do in regards to a relationship or a partnership with the Knight of Cups, with the Four of Wands. Let me pull some more. Yeah, I have a um the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you could be getting advice on like what to do in your situation, like your family, your child. Spirit, put one on the Queen of Swords. Whoever you, whoever you talking to, Capricorn, I feel like this person is being straight up. Yeah, somebody's being honest with you or you being honest with somebody, Capricorn. Spirit, put one on the Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. This could be a, a, a family member, friend that you talking to, a confidant, or this could be somebody you work with. This is kind of weird, the energy. I'm not really connecting to this reading. Spirit, put one on the four of wands. Or you could be hanging out. Capricorn, you could be hanging out with somebody. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands, the Emperor with the Queen of Pentacles. So another message I'm getting, somebody with the Queen of Wands, with the Emperor, with the Six of Swords, with the Four of Wands. Somebody could be traveling. Somebody could be traveling. I see a couple with the Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor. I feel like uh, this couple is traveling. But Capricorn, I, I feel like somebody is concerned about, or they, they telling the truth 
about whoever you're traveling with or hanging out with or doing something with. Spirit Pooh wants somebody could be relocating or trying to figure out where they're moving to next. Somebody don't, uh, uh, Capricorn, I feel like you don't want this person to know where you stay at or you don't, or this person don't want you to know where, where they live. Somebody is moving. I have this out here as well. Spirit Pooh wants on the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I have the Seven of Swords. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords. The Sun with the Ace of Cups. So, for one message, I feel like somebody is concerned and they they confining in or talking to maybe a friend or a relative. I do have a celebration out here as well. Somebody could, another message I'm getting, somebody could be getting proposed to on a, a island or on a trip. I have this out here as well. Somebody could be getting married. But whoever is um, getting married or getting proposed to out of town or something, I feel like it's a woman that's concerned about, like, what you're doing. Spirit, clarify. Give me another one on this Three of Cups. I'm, I'm getting like a vacation. Somebody's going on a vacation. The Six of Cups. I got the Six of Cups, Three of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Another message I'm getting. Your parents could be tra I mean, traveling to come see you, Capricorn. Or you're traveling to see your parents. I have eight of ones out here. This is my fast communication card. Yeah, I'm getting like, you could be talking to your siblings or your parents. I feel like it's the older man and the older, older woman that you're talking to, Capricorn. Yeah, I know this reading is all over the place, but... But the energy I'm picking up on, Capricorn, I feel like you could be all, all over the place, like, talking to different people in regards to, like, a, a situation that has something to do with, like, a, a family and a child or a children. Somebody did something behind... With this sun, with this shot right here, with the seven of swords. Somebody is doing something they don't have no business doing in regards to a child or children. The energy I'm picking up on, it's like... Uh, it's like visitation rights. Like, say, for instance, you and this person, y'all supposed to rotate every weekend with this sun and the seven of swords. But, like, this person, they'll keep the child. It's like they do things. Like, say it's your weekend to keep the child. They'll purposely keep this child on your weekend. And then when this person's weekend... When it's their time, when it's their actual weekend, that's when they want to give you the child, and you already had plans for the weekend that this person supposed to keep the child. It's like somebody they doing something they don't have no business doing in regards to a child, or like y'all supposed to rotate these weekends or something. But it's like this person would keep the child two weekends in a row, 
and you was uh, anticipating and expecting this child or these children to come on this particular weekend because you made plans to take them to like Disney World or you made plans to take them to the park. And with this Seven of Swords out here, this person, they purposely kept these children or a child on the weekend where you supposed to ha have them because it's like somebody doing something out of spite or something like that. Somebody's being spiteful. If children are involved or a child. But yeah, that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.